Muy bien, compañeros. Hola. En este video tutorial, yo les voy a mostrar un poco del proyecto final de Unidad 4. Y vamos a conversar de algunos temas importantes para el proyecto. Muy bien. Excelente. Entonces, primero vamos a ver las instrucciones. Aquí dice, instrucciones, create a presentation summarizing a shopping trip that you have been on. Either to a clothing store and a mall, perhaps, uh, a market, or just an excursion to a grocery store or a food market. Okay, regardless of where you go, you must name at least eight objects that you purchased. Now, you'll see later on that if you say eight, you can be in a 10 out of 10 for that category. If you say seven, okay, you could be a nine out of 10. If you say six, you could be an eight out of 10. But why don't we all shoot for eight objects that we purchase? Okay, be sure to use at least eight vocabulary words or phrases from your unit for pink sheet. And uh, as we see down here, also be certain to use at least five regular verbs in the preterite and three irregular verbs in the preterite tense uh, while recounting your experience. Okay, And then finally, which you probably won't get to today, we will record a voiceover of our presentation using QuickTime screen record and we'll submit the final project to Google Classroom. Okay. So what I'm going to do is kind of walk you through the logical steps that I would take to begin this project. Muy bien. Excelente. Hola. It's just me again. So I think that the most complicated aspect of this project is going to be balancing your use of the uh, vocabulary and expressions from the marketplace with your use of preterite tense, both regular and irregular verbs. Okay, so that is kind of what I have focused on in this tutorial video. So we need to use at least three irregular verbs in the preterite. This should be a fairly easy portion of the project because as you recall, uh, Senor Jordan sings a song that has about 15 irregular verbs that are already conjugated in the preterite yo form. You could use just about any one of those uh, somehow if, if you're crafty enough in your presentation. I think that the easiest one to use is uh, in your opening statement, yo fui a, I went to, yo fui al centro comercial. De America, the Mall of America, wherever you went. That might be a good way to begin your presentation. And if you do begin this way, you can already eliminate one out of the three of those irregular verbs that you must use in the preterite. Okay? From there, it might be a matter of saying, I am going to try to kill as many birds as I can in one stone. So we know that we need to use at least five regular verbs in the preterite as well, as well as eight different expressions from uh, vocabulario del mercado, see? So what you could do is look and say, wow, Senor Broom already gave us five verbs that are commonly used in the marketplace. So you could take one of these verbs and conjugate it in the preterite to express an action that occurred on your shopping experience. One of the verbs is comprar, to buy. You could simply say, yo compré una camiseta. Okay. Believe it or not, we just killed three birds with one stone. Okay, We have one of our vocabulary words, one out of eight that are required, comprar. Okay, we conjugated comprar in the preterite. Okay, so 
That's a double whammy. Now we have one out of five of our regular verbs in the preterite. Okay. Una camiseta. I bought a t-shirt. That is one of the eight objects that you're required to note that you purchased on this excursion. Okay. So in two sentences right here, we have an item from all four categories on a rubric. We have an irregular verb in the preterite, a regular verb in the preterite, one vocab word from the marketplace, and one object that we purchased. Okay, so this is kind of the mentality that you're going through when you are creating this project. Okay, another really useful expression to use here uh, involves another irregular verb. The verb is desir, to say. Dije. I said. Okay, this is in the preterite now. I said. Cuanto. Cuestan. Los zapatos. Okay, and look. Here we used an irregular verb in the preterite, which is on, we need three out of those on our rubric, right? And then we used an expression from our vocabulario. Cuanto cuestan, okay? Muy bien. So what we are doing here, compañeros, is we are retelling our shopping experience and very carefully and strategically matching it up to these different criteria that uh, is presented on our rubrics. See? It's not that difficult. What it does require is some thinking before you get started. And like I say, the more you can overlap uh, your vocabulary in the sentences, the easier of a time you will have. It's all about killing more than one bird with one stone, although you don't need to do it that way. You could have a presentation that's five minutes long, and one by one you, you go filling out this rubric. That's fine as well. Okay, You don't need to be crafty and say that every word that you use is, you know, fits into different requirements on the rubric. You don't have to do it that way. It would just be probably the most efficient way to do it. See? So go ahead and get started on this today, and I will be back tomorrow. Okay, the way it's looking, you're only going to have about 30 minutes to start today. You might just start with uh, gathering pictures, uh, you know, planning out which expressions you want to use here. See, uh, saying which irregular verbs from Senor Jordan's presentation am I going to use. Uh, there's really no right or wrong way to get started with this, but you have 30 minutes today to begin planning. You might even work quickly enough to be able to, uh, you know, open up a Google Slides and start, you know, building your presentation, although you will have tomorrow to work on this as well. So, use your time wisely. Hasta mañana, compañeros. Mucha suerte.